Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Town of Acton Selectman's meeting for May 12th, 2021. Um, we'll get up and salute the flag first. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, a meeting to order, and then we'll um, town administrator's weekly update if she's ready. All right. Just a few things this week. I'm gonna. I got my pen. So. You want a pen? Do you know what? Can I borrow it? Sorry. I don't think Okay. All right. So. Um, We have an individual in town that would like to pick up the uh, leaves at the transfer station. He has, um, it's just com compost. Um, he has provided uh, liability insurance to the town. Uh, the superintendent indicates that it's something that he does pay to have removed. So if this gentleman wants to take some leaves for free, he doesn't have any concerns with it. Uh, but certainly the decision lies with you. I don't have a problem with it. He's loading it himself or? Yeah, he's loading it. He's doing everything himself. Yep. Your city has liability. He, and we got okay. the uh, minimum liability yep. that the treasurer requires. Yep, that's okay. fine. Sure. Good. Uh, next was just to let you know that we have now received um, a good handful of transfer station applicants. Uh, so we are hoping to set up interviews. My liaison is Kim, transfer station. Yep. So I'll reach out. Uh, we'll schedule Bob and let him pick his top couple and okay. maybe look at the file maybe when you leave and All right. we'll get those set up. Uh, next, just an FYI, I remember when we were going through the, the budget process, um, the fire chief was waiting for the second generator quote. Uh, he was able to get it, so it came in and I emailed it um, to the Warren Finance and to you guys uh, just to look at. Okay. And he'll present at town meeting, but I just thought I'd send it since it came up. Um, I sent you all the warrant and I sent it to the Warren Finance. Um, I did hear from the chair, thank you for that. Um, hoping that you guys can proof it. Michelle and I have gone over it, but um, those documents Right. tend to blur together after a while when you've worked on them for so long so we want to make sure it's perfect um, but we're looking to have it posted um, hopefully by the first of the week so I appreciate you looking at it okay. and the last thing that I wanted to talk to you tonight is just a very early <laughs> proposal discussion regarding the town hall hours and this conversation is um, surrounding Thursday nights um, I would ask that the board would consider changing the hours from four to eight to three to seven. Um, what you have in front of you are, and, and I'll give you uh, some, some reasons, but what you have in front of you are the surrounding towns that uh, you'll see that Alfred is open until 6.45 one night, Lebanon is open until seven o'clock, and let me back up, Alfred has no Saturday hours, we have two a month. Lebanon is open until seven one night, and they are closed every Saturday. Lyman is open until seven o'clock one night, closed every Saturday. Newfield is open until 7 o'clock and they're open one Saturday of the month. Sanford has no evening hours and are closed every Saturday. Uh, Shapley is open until 8 on Thursdays. They're open the first and last Saturday of the month unless it's a holiday weekend, which 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day all seem to close on one of those Saturdays. Um, and then Wells um, is open until 6 o'clock and closed every Saturday. Um, the other document that you have is six months worth of transactions that our office has done um, over the last six months. Uh, you will see that uh, 37 week period, um, this is, these are transactions that came in between seven and eight o'clock. That's what this, this chart shows you. Um, if you total them up, so more than half of the 37 weeks, we had one or zero customers. Uh, we had one night in 37 weeks that we saw four people and then the rest, and this is remember only from seven to eight, the rest were all zero, one, or two. Um, the, this, you know, our hours will coincide with the entire building. Um, I think that it's good timing as you're, you're replacing the land use and the CEO. Um, two night, two Thursdays a month, the uh, code enforcement officer and the land use secretary will attend the planning board meeting. <laughs> right now, the planning board meetings are at six o'clock, so that means that on those two Thursdays, that office really closes at six o'clock. I mean, if the meeting ended, you know, at seven, seven fifteen, then I'm sure the staff would go back down to work. Um, but 
they're long, you know, you're leaving here at 8, you're getting home at 8.30, you're winding down, staff has to be back by 8 in the morning. We're just not seeing a lot of activity, especially in the winter time. Um, and we're just asking that you consider closing at 7. Okay. So, something to take into consideration and maybe bring up next week or if you had questions or any more data you would like us to provide. You said 3 to 7? 3 to 7. I mean, personally, I think it sounds reasonable. I don't have a problem with that. I've, I mean, been, I've been here after it's, it's 7 dead. at night and there isn't a lot of... Yeah. Activity. Well, I mean, you get some work done, but right. But I, I mean, I feel like work done anyway. So I feel like with the surrounding towns, I mean, we offer yeah. two Saturdays a month. You know what I mean? We've got we we offer the most evening and, and Saturday hours, anyways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's it, when we advertise till eight, and you know, for downstairs, for example, if the planning board meeting, I mean, most planning board meetings, I mean, go an hour to two hours, if not. You know, I know they used to go a little longer, but. If they go that amount of time, that's more time that you know customers thinking they can come into codes from six to eight when really they're going to be mm -hmm. tied up in a meeting. Mm -hmm. So at yeah. least you know it drops it down to an hour, and yep. you know for this staff to go home at eight thirty and get up, you know it's just. It's when would slow. you want to start this? Um, I mean that would be your call. Maybe the first of June. June. Give us some notice. Just yeah. I'm sorry. First of June. I mean I. I think June, it's. Yeah. Yep. First of June. I mean, we we'll give a couple of weeks and hang out through Memorial Day weekend, and we and we don't close any of those holiday weekends. I feel like we're very, you know, right. um, but you know, we can let the meeting run, let a week go by, see if we get any feedback from the live mm -hmm. meetings that are being posted online. If anybody's got any concerns, I broke it down so that you could see how many of those four transactions were inland fisheries taxes, vitals, or dog registrations. Mm -hmm. Because remember, all of those other than taxes, yeah. you can do online as well. <coughs> so, and the one night that we had four. Um, it was the first week of a month. But. Something to think about. I'll put it on the agenda if it's okay with next week and just see what your thoughts are and maybe if anybody from the public or residents have concerns. Okay. Thank you. That's all I have tonight. Alrighty. Well, we can move on to warrant and bills, which I think we all signed. Yep. Um, so I need an approval of the agenda. I can motion to approve the agenda. Seconded. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? Okay. Minutes of the last meeting. I actually have two here. Um, so I'm going to make a motion that we accept the minutes of April 28th and May 5th. Make a motion to accept the minutes of the 28th and the 5th of May. Seconded. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? Um, department heads, committee chair updates. Do we have anybody here that? No. All right, then we'll move on to old business, um, Flat Ground Road. So last week um, we had the request about Flat Ground Road. Um, this is the file for it. Um, I do encourage still anybody that's interested in Flat Ground Road to come in and look at the actual file. What I thought was referenced last week was a, resp uh, a legal response from Maine Municipal that I was looking for, so that's the first one that, that I came across. There are other opinions in here, so I, I want to go full disclosure that not to say that that's the one you were looking for, but that is, um, may I speak to him and ask him if, sure. is that okay? Yes, yes. Is, do you know, Mr. Long, is that the, the response, is that the email that was referenced? Had you seen it before? Did you know which? I mean, I appreciate this one. This is she has to speak, Muslim. Oh, yeah, come on up. <laughs> you want to move a chair up, maybe? I do. I'm all set. Nice. Don't trip him, Dennis. You want to ask him if you me in practice, I might Yeah, no, I, I appreciate this one. This is from 2006. The one I'm referring to was when Ted Kryzak was. Chair, that was what, about five years ago, six years ago? About eight. About eight years ago. Twelve? Twelve? Thirteen? Twelve. Yeah, so there, I mean, I found like the original easements, the vote to close, the vote for private, I found all those. Um, I did find, I feel like it was Selectman Ruma. There might have been another legal opinion. I don't recall seeing anything that new. What did, can you tell me a little bit about what it um, 
said or referenced? I don't remember exactly. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie about it. Okay. But I remember, uh, Ed was on the board. Ted Prizak was chair. Okay. I don't remember who the third. Bill. Bill, Bill, Bill Shields. Bill Shields. Yeah. And the gentleman, the lawyer, came up and gave us our opinion. Well, he, shortly thereafter, I saw a, an email from MMA. Um, I, I, anyways, uh, that was when I was referring to. I think it was around. Okay, so it's definitely. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right, so I have one 2006 in. No, 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 no. I, I want to find what you're looking for. I just, I, I only had the clip right. of the meeting. Okay. So this is from 2016. This is um, regarding the board of selectmen from Mr. Lankowski. Um, but you said clearly you thought it was from Maine Municipal? Yeah, Maine Municipal. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me just. Um, hmm. So we got an opinion from our lawyer that states what he believes is. Here we go. Flat Ground Road. I'm sorry, David. And this is 07, but this is with Mrs. Ruma, an opinion. I haven't read them, but that's in here. And then all of the, this is all of when it went to the townspeople, we sent notices out. Okay. Um, all right, so not to say, let me look through the, now that I have a better year timeline, um, let me check emails and stuff, but. This is the actual flag on folder, and that's right. that was the only MMA thing I could really find. Okay. All right, we'll put John for next week, and we'll keep digging. Thank you. We will actually. And make sure this gets some fireproof for me. Thank you. All right, moving on to new business. Um, we've got the shed liquor license. All right. So the public hearing was held on the sixth. You had. Um, a statement from the sheriff's department, statement from the fire chief, proof that it ran in the newspaper. And then I don't believe we had any public comment, correct? No. Okay. It's a pretty pretty quick one. You want to cover letter or what am I supposed to have it anyways? Yeah, you got the cover. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Looking for a motion? Yeah, oh, we're looking for a motion. That's okay. I was trying to figure out if we were going KB restaurants or if it was for the shed. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah. Do this and then say that. Yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. So we're looking for a motion. We have a motion to improve the uh, liquor license for our KB restaurant enterprises, the shed. I'll second it. All right, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? All right. So now we need to sign, right? Yeah. All righty. There we go. Somewhere there. And then. Now, B, um, recreational committee request. Yeah, so we have two members of the rec here uh, tonight. Um, Lori, if you guys want to come up to the microphone, I'll give them a little bit of a round table. Um, <laughs> She's sending you along. <laughs> so remember the, um, so the rec, we've got a, a fairly new committee here. We've got um, a couple of, we've got Lori who's uh, bringing her expertise to the table and getting the committee going up and again. So we certainly appreciate that. Lori and I have had a lot of conversations uh, surrounding the rec parking lot and what exactly was um, decided and discussed at the previous, you know, public hearings, warrant and finance meetings, what they were going to do and so forth. Um, as you recall, a couple of weeks ago, we authorized um, Mr. Langley to bring in a thousand dollars worth of gravel, um, kind of per the post what was already predetermined. Um, 
she's now before you, in front of you, you have a um, proposal that's been put together by um, William Langley for, this says $4,657. The REC did meet last night to authorize up to $5,500. Lori knows that we have a policy that says she has to go out to seal bid over five thousand dollars, so she's going to plead her case for you with that for a second uh, in a second. But the bigger conversation I really need the, this board to have is to whether or not this work is being done as by Will Langley as a road commissioner, or is he being done as an independent contractor? And and I don't want to say given the work, but you know that's. A, yeah, it's up to the board, but that's that's a decision the selectmen have to make first because we know that it's not part of his plowing as road commissioner, if you will. You know, it's road maintenance, it's not a road, but it is town property, so there's kind of like a gray area. So that's the first big thing, and then that'll kind of tell us what direction we have to go with her bids. Okay. four years. Um, there's been discussions with the rec board for the past almost four years um, to get this part of work done. Um, I think it got presented to the rec board without and ever really getting numbers as to how much it was going to cost to get it done and get it done right. Um, and there's also an unforeseen issue that's up there that when the uh, Electrical was brought from the shed to the what uh, the well. There was it was dug up, and now the part of um, what we're asking to get done at this point um, is actually a hazard. I I find it a hazard. I've tripped numerous times up there just in the past couple of weeks um, because the ground is uneven and. So what we're asking, I asked Will to, to come up with a price to one thousand beyond thousand dollars he has already done to do the center of the driveway to do the right hand side of Eagle Park. And I'm not sure if anyone's been up there at this point, but um, Will staked it so people wouldn't park there. So you can <coughs> plainly see we are it's right it up where it really needs to be brought up. Um, to be able to use it in the spring and in the fall when you know we have rain season. Um, it's an issue ongoing. We had two years ago we couldn't have baseball there because it was so wet. Just two weeks ago, if we started our program early, it was a mess. And um, we need to get it to the point that we can use it um, when we need to use it. And and then on the left hand side, we I asked Will if he could come up with a price. All together, so it would bring up to where the trench is, and just make that put it either gravel or loom. Um, Will had said loom, and see, see, you know, you would have to bring in more tracks. It's more money, so I get from up the price, you know, to just gravel it right up to where the trench is. So this would be to finish the parking lot once for all. What we, the board has talked about for four years. It was a previous board. New board going on. We don't have any budget for next year. We have the money this year. Will is willing to get done before this year is over. We would really, the board has unanimously uh, agreed to have this done as long as you guys are all for it. I know that there is new policies um, and we're asking the board just to allow him to go ahead do it and get done and get done right you know once and for all so. so really a couple things from the from the board's point i mean we for from the treasurer and i and even will and for the our communications with the department we we need clear guidance on and and maybe you'll make this i don't know maybe you'll do this project and then i mean it's not a new policy i mean let's you know it, it is a mm -hmm. policy that's been in place for a long time but but nevertheless we don't know how we're treating him on these projects so that's what we need clarification from first as far as you know the over you know the the bid process is he you know what i mean we don't we don't know the answer to that and that's got nothing i mean that's got nothing to do with yeah i mean i just well, I, well let me back up so okay I, everything we done there when i did the trench when we did the trench of the electric the flagpole when my brother did it 
everything when we put the we've always done stuff in town rate. Oh no, we we know and we appreciate the numbers yes, you gave us. These numbers I gave them, that's town rate. Okay. Okay. That, that's not what we're asking. Yeah, you know, we don't doubt that at all. We are so thankful. What you want. It's whether or not you charge as a subcontractor or you paid as a road commissioner. What we're trying to figure out, Will, is if you're gear in a, and if, if so, anytime any town property needs work on this side of town, do I, do I, as a town administrator, just call the road commissioner and say, you know, I need A, B, and C, and if I can find it in the appropriate budget, then just have you do the work. I don't know if, if that's the instruction from the board or if just because it's town property, I still go out to sealed bid. You know, and you would you would bid on it at whatever rate you want. So I want to be very clear that we are so thankful for the work you've done, and nobody's questioning anything. I don't know why we're going to change it. Then I think it's a fair bargain all around. Well, but that's up to them. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just you know, I don't mind going down there. I do stuff at Bobby at the town for town rate. Yeah, I done stuff here for this that town rate. I've never put my equipment on for the town as a contractor that would price stuff out as you as a contractor. It's always town rate, and those rates there. Or is it me running the equipment and tucking $27 off of there so we're not making this into a bigger project than it needs No, to. you're not getting it. You're, not, you, you, you're going elsewhere here. It's not, we're not worried about your rates or how much you're charging. It's whether or not you are the person who's supposed to be doing it or whether or not we should be hiring somebody else. Because you're the road commissioner does not mean that you, you automatically get that wreck field. Okay. That's, that's what, we're, what trying we're trying to figure, trying to figure out right now. Yeah, that's, that's what we're trying to Whether or not you get it Nothing to do with or you. the other road commissioner gets it, we're trying to figure that out right now. That's all we're trying to figure out. Well, then, so why is this coming now? So the past three years, because I've, it's plowed, a, past three years I've plowed it. You have been going out to contract to plow it. Right? Well, see, and that's, and that's where it gets gray. And that's where the, the treasurer, right. I mean, she's like, we got a policy that says, is he, and you may possibly be completely exempt because it's town property and on side, your side of town. That may be the end discussion here, you know what I mean? But that's what we're trying to figure out. So plowing it was, it was plowing. So he does plow it. That was the question I had. It. Okay. And yep. does that come out of the rec account or does that come out of your regular winter maintenance? Winter maintenance, right? Well, whatever. We always just plow it as. Okay. So as, okay. One of your, as one of your roads, like you do the transfer station, the parking lot. Okay. Oh, one thing I'd like to say is I called Will up last week, two weeks ago. I mean, I started discussions with him about three weeks ago. I called him up. Not even two weeks ago, and I said, "Well, can you get up there? We want to stop baseball, even if it's just to fill in the rest." And the nice thing about being able to have him, him, is that he almost dropped everything and came and did it. And the same thing with this bid. I mean, I called him yesterday, and I said, "We have a rec meeting tonight. Can you come up with this bid?" I mean, it was something that we talked about last week when he got up there and did it. But he dropped in what he's, you know, some of his other projects to be able to do that, and that's priceless. Um, mm -hmm. You know, especially for something like the, the rack wheel, where we have a certain amount of time that... And nobody's doubting that whatsoever. Right. Right? I don't want this to turn into something... We, the treasurer has a policy that you know, right. it says $5,000. So I just need to know if going forward... There, we're exempt on town properties. That's, I mean, it's not, it's not about him, the job he's right. done, the past, the present, any, anything about his quality. So I mean, so you're asking either, either side of town, same, same either thing. Either side so. of town, right? Yes. Like he Adams. Just now, to when we, when we did the salt shed, both road commissioners did that project. Is that true? I'd have to go. Well, back. both road commissioners were supposed to do the project. Uh, big at the footings and whatnot. Yeah, we both did it. Yeah, okay. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So, but both road two? commissioners were hired to do that. We did not go out to bid on that. Right. Okay. That would have been a far. We did go out to bid on it. Did we? We did. What happened was when the bid came back, it added a bunch of stuff that we were worried about. Right. That's when we ended up getting okay. involved. Okay. So yeah, which was far more than a five thousand dollar job. Right. Yes. To do all that, so I would be inclined to exempt town properties. We don't go out to bid to do roads. We don't go out to bid to do sanding. Why should we go out to bid to maintain town properties? Well, we don't have to go out to bid for plow and stuff because so, we Well, I know, but I'm just saying, yeah. it's, all, it's all town property. Why, why make a parking lot at the rec field different than the parking lot at the fire station, the parking lot here? So if so, just for conversation, so we know, like going forward next year, let's just say this article passes for the reconstruction of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. It'll be fair that we'll be communicating with Will to 
do that reconstruction project. I mean, that's how I would take that. But if that reconstruction project is over five thousand dollars, then do we? Still it wouldn't matter. Well, that's what I'm asking. No, make it cool. exactly. You're going to do one or the other. That's Either he does right. all the work, yeah, or you put it out to bid. Yeah, it's one or the other. Yeah. And we just need direction. The thing is, though, a contractor is not going to most likely not going to be our town rates. Correct, Dave. Oh. Well, I mean, not to put uh, you on the spot, but like if we had somebody a else, con a contractor See, isn't. This public. is this is the issue I have with it. Not knocking you at all, so don't take it the wrong way. But this isn't going to fix the parking lot because the contractor has been doing it for 25 years. Knows the, there's no base underneath that parking lot. Turns the crap every year. So a contractor that comes in there and says, "Well, you got this problem because there's no base under it. Yeah. Putting 30 yards of gravel over the top of it ain't fixing the problem." That's the problem when you get other people coming and looking at the jobs, you may get some different information. That's the only positive. But on the other hand, we're not, you're not going to find anybody to go to school around that parking lot. Right. right. So you know, we're better off just having Will do it. we just got to make a decision One whether or not other. we're just going to stick with that or we're going to go with the other. We can't flip-flop. Right. right. And, and, and that's why the conversation is coming up, Will, because it's, right. we want to make sure that it's consistency on the record, that if I ever need anything on, on the other side of town, that you call the road commissioner, you know what I mean on town property so because yeah. let's just say Mary Grant is looking at having something done for the driveway or you know what I mean <coughs> I don't know where when I look at their policy that they've approved if it's automatic that I contact the road commissioner for any town property and then when the amount came up you know what I mean that's kind of where it started the conversation so it's nothing to do with the work I want to make sure that that's clear I just need direction from them what they want us to do and also one thing said is one of the one of the reasons why it's more than we even thought of in the first place is Bill is talking about in the center of that parking lot to dig out the area that is a problem and put in yeah. gravel which, and which I, I know there's nothing in there but I if I come up and tell them hey it's gonna cost you you know, I'm just giving it so they can use it for right now. Yep. And yep. two or three years, we can, let's pick it up and do it the right way. We're going to pay it. And well, you get what you get for $4,600. It's not a lot of money. Well, yeah. I know. Like that. And, but that's trying to get them so they can use it. That's all, right. all I can right. the number. And we're, we have the money in the budget. Are you guys willing to up that money? Well, yeah, I don't. It does rail the right way for the. No, I, I have no I, no problem. I have no problem using letting them use the money as long as we know what how we're going to roll with this from here on out. Right. That's it. Right. Well, right. But right. You're saying that. It, what what that we're saying, Lori, is what we're saying. I understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, if, if at this point, if you approve this and you approve will to do it, is there any way to approve more money? because we have it in the budget, to be able to hire the amount in, not just put a band on it now, but actually get it done right. How yeah. much more would it, she's saying, instead of spending the four grand now, have them come back in a couple of years, where they have all this extra COVID money. About 6,000. Any idea? 6, right now. I'm putting you on the spot, Will, but any idea digging it up and doing it the right way once, how much more that number would jump? I know that's right on the spot. Well, I mean, the middle of the driveway is not bad, it's just the right side. I don't know, you feel like, Say like 20 or more probably, it's almost like a dime bigger because it, it's, I mean, you're sinking, 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 you there's some wiggle room on that date if they approve it but again we have two different issues so I just want clarity so moving forward is it's a direction of the board that any town property that needs any type of dirt excavation work that we can contact the road commissioners they'll do it at town assuming they'll do it at town rate that has to be part of the stipulation um, uh, then we go out to bed assuming they do it at town rate that we are that they're exempt from the policy is that what I'm hearing that's what my yeah. thoughts are. I think and, I you know, it would be way. a fact that they're available and willing to do it. If they're not, then we go out to bed. Then you have if to they go. get the first shot at town rates right. to do the job. I think that's the best way to go. I mean, I think it's a good savings for the town. They're willing to do it that way. If they're both willing to do it that way. Yeah. That's the other thing. <laughs> And if not, uh, then we go out to bid. I mean, if, if they flat out say, geez, I can't do that. Right, then, then we go then out to bid. Then, yeah, then I, it's I a agree with you. I agree with you on having the road commissioners doing it. Mm -hmm. I, but if we're going to give them the job to do it, 
they should be doing it. Okay, we shouldn't be giving, okay, well, if you want to, you can. If you don't, then we have to go out to bed. Now you just changed the whole game up again. No, if they are not available and cannot one. do the job, then we go to bed. I, I understand they that. They get first shot at the job. Here it is. Any, any work on town property goes to the road commissioners. If the road commissioner says, I've got 20 house lots I'm doing, I can't get there for yeah, but that's, months. That, 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 absolutely, I don't agree with that yeah. a bit because so, that's, you're talking about roads. Same thing on the road. Yeah. Their, their house lots don't come before the town property. No. When they run for this job, they take that agreement that their, their town stuff comes first. And if the we stop stuff would be roads, right? Not no. Well, that's why that's why I'm getting to this is we we turn from roads to this. If we're going to do it, we got to do it. That's their job. And if not, um, you know, we can't. One day we're going to not put it out to bid, and the next time we're going to put it out to bid. Either they're going to do it or they're not. I, I still think they saying, should. I, I they should be able to have the option. I mean, I'd rather to see them do it. Oh, I'd rather see him do it and too. I, and, I, and if you stick with that method, I don't think that you're going to run into many times. If I don't at think all, you are either. I that, think that they're not going to. I mean, yeah. they, these guys, you know, whoever's in the position are, you know, what I mean, their their focus yeah. is on the town first, especially with these right. town departments and committees. And I mean, I don't think we'll run into that situation that they wouldn't be willing to. So I think it'd be safe just to make the motion to mm -hmm. give well, it to them. And to piggyback, just a whole, but just to piggyback on what you guys said. I mean, you guys say when we do, if we do the parking lot. You give me the work and you go up to bed. So this is going to be a good time to clear this all up. Well, and exactly. And that's why, because Lori and I, Lori will tell you that we've had so many conversations. I'm like, eek, i got to ask the board. I mean, it's over that amount. I don't know if we can just give it to them. You know what I mean? I didn't want to make that decision. I'm not, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to clarify. I'm fine with either way. No, no. And, it's not, and remember, it's not about you. We no, really appreciate a, you. It's not a personal thing. It's right. just a, it's a okay, policy so, thing. So. Yeah, How about a motion? Why don't we take the motion with just the way that you originally said it to, you know, all work goes to the road commissioners all town owned properties would would automatically go to the road i'll make a motion that all town right. properties and leave the other half off and just see if we run okay. into problems because i i, I no. just you know knowing the road commissioners regardless of you know even if we have a, a change in june these are good men that will put mm -hmm. the town first so i think that you know what i mean that in any case it's not we're not going to worry about going out you, okay. um and i mean as we were saying okay say say one of the road commissioners d could the other road commissioner do the job if the road commissioner that's supposed to do it can i think we we travel that's, that when we get that's that between the, I, mean, I would say that's between okay. the road commissioners yeah. and there's right. not just, there's just not that much work that's yeah. going to happen no. short of this rec field we may not have this conversation again for right. for some time three years yeah oh, i'd really like to dictate i have these guys this guy takes because we will take care of the transfer station mm -hmm. yeah. right um, we'll take care of the town hall. Takes care of everything on his Strictly side. on their sides. Right. Okay. So just yeah. leave it. Well, th that one down there is kind of a tricky one because Adam takes care of Young's Ridge. Okay. Or his Hawk Road. But your Hawk Road's right there. That's you know Hawk Road and Garvin. So it's not like it's all by itself on one side of town. But I'm not going. That's not where I'm going with this. So, but what we have to do, you know, like Adam takes care. What I, we always did was I took care of the town shed during the summertime, okay, pushing up the brush and this and that. I took care of the fire station. We knew who took care of whatever. The only reason the other road commissioner came in when we did the town building well, we because we to. felt it was a right thing. It was a big project. Right, okay. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so, but I would like to make sure that we know who's taking care of what so we don't have this crisscross mm -hmm. where we're not here in a few right, years other people so the next people already something. know this is their jobs i like to have some sort of policy that's all i want to see so we don't have this issue again okay. so why don't i work on drafting something up after meeting with the road commissioners um another piece and we don't have to have the conversation tonight but you have some roads that some of you do in the summer some of you do in the winter and then you swap them back and forth I don't know if at some point that's a conversation to have and maybe we you know we wait until after the election because at this point you know it's really not fair to anybody to make major changes in, until right. after an election but I don't know if that's ever a conversation did you and Scott ever have a conversation about just you know one side is one side and the other side is the other well, side why do, do they it. switch roads because the problem you have is you got Milt Mills Road Fox and Ridge Road the mileage of oh mileage. so what happens is I didn't take care of Milton Mills or Fox's Ridge during the summertime. That's a state road. So, you lost so then I had to plow it. So to make the, the mileage even for the summer maintenance, that's why you go up to Young's Ridge. It works. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put something together as far as the 
locations of the town properties and we'll spell them out district one district two we'll let both of the guys review it and we'll bring it back to you as a policy next week Sounds so good. that piece is settled i think that and we'll get a, maybe an official motion on that next week when we have the policy okay mm -hmm. so assuming that passes all, my motion. All, thank you and all is well we are looking for um really nothing from i mean they're you're good so the board had already said that you could i mean you can expend the money out of because of i mean we'd already you'd already given permission that she could expend that so yep. we're gonna be fine so could we spend more <laughs> if Oh, we don't no. have yeah. you know, I mean, well, so right down, down the road. I know, but in just the conversations I've had with the treasurer, I mean, the, the board and the treasurer, everybody understands that you had COVID, you know, COVID happened, we didn't have a lot of the sports, so they've authorized you to buy a good amount of stuff that wasn't normally planned. The construction, I mean, you know, it, it's going to be a, a, you know, it's a good gesture as well to roll some of that over. I mean, is there anything else that you feel like absolutely can't wait? That, I mean, we don't want to spend just to spend, but... No, not to spend, but there seems to be just other things that just have, have started that never got finished. Like, the well is up there. The well one wasn't tested to make it see if it was drinkable. But you've done that. Um, no, we've done that. that. It would be wonderful to finally get the well water into the concession stand. I called um, the streeters only because I didn't even know how to run that well. So... I spoke to um, I, Brian, I, Brian mm -hmm. last Monday, and I said, you know, just is there any way that you can give me an idea as to how much it's going to cost to run? Would he do that or a plumber? Huh? Would he do that or a plumber? He said that he would run the lines. You would have to have a plumber to hook up some stuff, or I don't know if you have to do any electrical or anything mm -hmm. like that. You have to run the line so it back feeds. Um, you know, he's saying that it's going to be a couple thousand dollars for him to do it. I said, is it something that you could do but before next year is up? Uh, is, that something, is, up. is that something you'd want to do before you um, have him cover up everything? Will? What? Um, Lori was talking about having water lines run to the building, and uh, you were just talking about... Does that have any effect on I your parking lot? That I, I just don't know. That's well, I'm just, you know, if he's, are we going to fix it and then dig it back up to put a line in? Is, right. is what I'm saying. Are you anywhere near the where the water lines would go? Well, we grab up to where she wants it. Yeah, we'll be right right over the, the line from the uh, well, the, the uh, power line from the well. So. Do you even have a, an account? Do you have an account balance on where you stand and what's outstanding as far as all these Amazon orders and where we are financially? But I just hate to give it to you. You know, we haven't looked at it or spoken to. Right. Right. I asked Jen today for our budget. Um, right now we're at fifteen thousand two ninety five. That does not include. That's your expended your balance. Yeah. If you want to look at it, um, that doesn't. It, well, I'm not sure how to read it exactly. So you got this from Michelle. Yeah. So there's the 2,000 still, 1,000 of that 2,000 is supposed to be wills. For the capital improvement, yeah. Talked to, you talked to the board about going up to 1,400 for the trees right. that still is supposed <laughs> to be done in this year. Okay. So that would be off of the capital improvement. Why don't then, but there's still 14,000. Right. Um, we've got a few more miscellaneous things that we're going to order. Um, I don't know if we have to order the soccer so or not, that was eighteen hundred dollars. So let's let's do this for the sake of tonight. So the board's giving you approval for the for the project that Will's gonna do. We're gonna work on a policy. I know you stepped out for a second, Will, that it's very clear all this in writing and, and which side has what as far as buildings and locations. And we'll get that together for next week. But there it sounds like they're gonna all three support now it's clear on who does what, but Let's sit down next week and work on your work on your numbers, and we can present to the board a new list. But because we need specifics, you know, I mean, from yes. this from the plumber, from Streeter, sure. And then we'll come back to them next week. And with that being said, this was left over. <coughs> it was already written in. That's going into yes, it capital was, improvement, right? For the capital improvement, would the board be in so new? Um, and we. Um, even looking back now at some things that we um, budgeted for, and we had our second meeting with three new board members and myself to do the budget, 
And there's, there's quite a few things that, like, we went off of last year, is like even ice packs, different things like that, uh, first aid kits that, you know, are budgeted for $50 here and there. And I know we go to a line item, but I think we're going to be next year really high impressed with just what we put in the budget versus the capital improvement or what's, what could have been done with this money that, that would have benefited the rec. Um, there's so many things, like I said, that we're not going to be able to do next year that we would possibly like to do as a board, but because it's not budgeted in, because it's capital improvement, and, and let's, we have to wait a whole nother year to do that. Is there... Do we have a... I, I don't have the warrant in front of me. I apologize. I don't know what, what we put as a warrant article for expenditure out of capital improvement. Um, I believe we did the 5000 for expenditure out of capital improvement mm -hmm. for the back tree line. For this year's warrant? The, the um, correct board asked for that, but above and beyond that... Let's, why, don't, why don't you see if you can come in on Friday and sit down with Michelle and I. And we'll, we'll get everything caught up as far as what you've expended. We'll subtract what we know Will's going to. We've got an outstanding invoice from him. We've got a few of the Amazon orders. And then we'll pr present something to them more solid next week with some numbers. Okay. Okay? Good. Just because I hate to answer off the cuff. You know what I mean? I want to sure. see the numbers in front of us. I don't want to get us in trouble. So. But as far as the new board, if you try to be able to get things done that like, should be done with already yep. in the process of being done now we have to wait a whole another year to do that because it's not our budget so, so we'll help you sort it out uh, work on those things wonderful thank you thank you thank you both all right we'll move on to c electrical permits okay so thank you carol thank you. all right so this um when Mr. Gilpatrick was here, he spoke to the board about electrical permits and only doing residential, single family residential. And we know we had the motion, we went back, we corrected it. We've taken that set of minutes and we've sent it to CMP and we've sorted everything out. Mr. Demers, um, even though he reviewed the residential, somehow it, it didn't, it hasn't all kind of fallen together. What he's saying is that if you're not qualified to do electrical on other things, you're not qualified to do them on residential single family. He doesn't understand why we left that one piece in there. He is not qualified to do electrical, nor was the other gentleman um, prior before him. What he recommends is what, what you have in front of you, and this is, um, this is a, a copy and paste with some changes that he incorporates in Chapley. So essentially it's gonna say, the town of Acton does not collect fees, issue permits, or inspect for code violations on any new or extended electrical system. However, the code officer must collect required documentation of work completed by a master electrician, limited electrician, homeowner, or confirm the system in place is functioning. Permits inspections may be required with the state of Maine and results to be forwarded to the code officer prior the issue of occupancy permit or certification of completion. Below is a list of typical projects. So he's recommending that we get away from electrical 100%. And that this is something that he sends to anybody that calls the town of Acton and says, I need an electrical. It's a breakdown of commercial, including hotels, motels, cottages, and lodges, residential, new um, duplexes, single families, detached garages, anything electrical what has to happen and, and what he's saying is that by turning that other piece over to the state because again he's not qualified to do that nor was mr the prior ceo so he keeps focusing on we're not sure how we got to that point because they weren't certified to do it uh, it was confusing um, and he went back and watched it and, and when we talked about it um i said well you saw that they did the residential he said yeah but he kind of backpedaled and we reviewed it a couple of times at the end of the day, he's not certified, nor is anybody in this area, to do residential on single families. He's recommending, especially as we look at our applicants for code enforcement officer, if we're going to have somebody that you're going to, you know, that may or may not need to be trained, the electrical is the hardest, toughest part, and why not give it to the state? Um, that's his recommendation. This came from him. Uh, at the bottom, you can see he's got the um, state inspector's information on the bottom, but. So we, we've had a couple of situations in Acton where we've been going back and forth with, with CMP. Um, so him and I, you know, we don't, we don't have a lot of time to communicate, but um, that was the missing link. He was telling people that they didn't need any electrical. And I was like, oh no, as long as it's not single family. So we finally got together today and um, 
and he and he did confirm that you guys did vote that way. He wasn't sure why, and recommends that you follow this. And um, so this is the recommendation. Recommendation. The recommendation is that the town not do any from who from Mike Demers. Okay. And this does this mirror somewhat near what Shapley does? This or? is the town of Shapley's document. I changed Shapley to Acton. Okay. So it's worked for Shapley. It works for Shapley. And, and like I said, the state inspector is now already coming over for garages, for commercials. They've picked up that piece. And one of the things, if you notice, and one of the things that Mike said to me um, is that the he want he will require or your new code enforcement officer will require proof that it's been inspected by the state and you'll get that certification before he does occupancy permits or certificates of completion so he said that it's just it's a good paper trail with uh, mr laflame and he just emails them over goes in the file as checked off and it's one less thing the town has to do if not if we choose to continue to do single family we need to find somebody to inspect it because he cannot well, it doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know what we were thinking because doing a single family, I mean, you're doing electrical inspection, you have to be certified for that. Why we even did that, I don't, because right. I thought we were getting rid of it completely. Mm. Yeah. And so did he. He said when he watched it, but then when he heard the motion. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we need a new motion? Yeah, if it's the direction that, that you choose to go and take his recommendation and not to do any electrical permits. Permits, inspections, yeah, I mean, I guess I would kind of, somebody whispering at me, um, require the front. Who's that? Is that you? Uh, so, it yeah. does make we, sense. So like we don't issue permits. Right. Yeah, you want to table it? I want to table this. I like to, I like to speak to Mike. Okay. okay. Um, and I, I, I like to make a couple phone calls, too, just to make sure what we have to do. And um, I don't want to screw this up again. Right. But if we don't have anybody in house that can inspect, and, and we I'm, can't be inspecting, we can't be per permitting it. Right. So we can't. And I will tell you that we, and, and not to put any pressure on you, David, but we do have a couple of people in, that CMP will not turn their power back on because we've sent them certified, certified copies of the selectman minutes because that's all I have to go by, yep. based on your motions, and they won't turn them on. Uh, Mr. Laflame doesn't think he has the authority to inspect. Mr. Demers cannot inspect it yeah. based on the motion. So. No, I think we I think we need to move on this. I do too. I mean, I mean, it's worst case scenario, we still don't inspect them. You know, it's we we do, we don't inspect them. We don't issue permits for them. So it basically just negates everything that we did on that other motion, and it put, it closes the loophole of the single family house. I wish Mr. Demers was here to present this tonight. I did ask him. He had a prior engagement. Um, he thought the document spoke for itself. Okay. I think it does. I mean, it's... Then again, we thought the other one did, but... Yeah, I mean, we can certainly put it off a week, and I can ask him to come. I was just, just want to make sure that you have all of the information that, that I have in front of me. I just don't want to hold up the people that are waiting for... So these people can't get turned on until we do this? Because they're residential and they're looking for, according to the selectmen, we have to send them something on letterhead every time we make a change. So the getting connected at cmp.com, um, I have to email them on letterhead every time we have a change. And the last thing I have for them is a certified vote that we'll do in single family residential. So they're not willing to turn it on because they don't have an inspection from the town. And, and nobody's called Mr. Little Flame. He can't because the, the minutes, the... the because the motion that you made is that the code enforcement officer does single family residential. When the code enforcement officer can't do it, you call the state and they come and do it for you. But the state, okay, well, I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, I don't, I'm, then I'm missing a piece possibly yeah. because that's. I was, I, I, I don't know. The reason why I didn't want to jump into this is because I know I got some friends that are electricians, okay? And they, some towns, they don't even do the electrical inspection. It's written off by the master electrician. The only time you have to have the flame come in is on commercial. And that's what our past code officer told us. The, right. the, the two week one. But so but we still we can still issue the permits 
we as just can the master electrician has the been master electrician has to sign off on it. Yeah, I guess we. That's why I wanted. I just wanted to look into this because I, I think we might be going to stuff we don't need to. We'll give it a week. Check into it. What do you think? Right. You know, at least, and then. All right. I will ask him to uh, come to next week's meeting. Yep. All right. Uh, D. Planning board. Um, All right. So we have a few things here. I've tried to spell them out. I think the first year was a resignation. I gave it. Uh, Ed's a liaison. Did I give it, or did I give you all one? Yep. Well. I did email it to you, but. want to read this I don't think we need to read the whole thing I mean then I guess I will look for a motion okay this is a uh, the resignation from Jim Driscoll from the planning board basically he's got a lot going on in his life he greatly appreciates everything that the planning board is doing and all the members on the planning board but he wants to spend more time with basically wants to spend more time cooking and with his daughters and I don't blame him so um, I will make a motion that we accept with regret Jim Driscoll's resignation from the planning board. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? Well, that's too bad. It is. And thank you for you know, putting the time in that you could. All right. So Number two, appointment. Hotel. With... Um, Oh, yeah. kind of, they kind of all rolled together, but uh, Mr. DeMars, remember, was appointed as a uh, an alternate to the planning board. Shortly after you appointed him, he became appointed for the code enforcement, and there was a conflict for him to serve in both. Um, so he is okay with because um, you withdrawing his his um, appointment. He also offered to withdraw it, withdraw it on his end, but I think we need a motion to to properly withdraw it, uh, just based on the conflict between the positions. And he hopes she'll keep him in mind um, once he's done filling in for you. I don't think we need to do any more than that, do we? I, mean, I don't think so. We never did appoint him, so. He did appoint him. We, we did. He so did we appoint him and signed a meeting. He appointed, but he never. He never got sworn right. in. Never, we didn't uh, sworn yeah, in. he never took his oath. So do we have make So he option. is willing to. Unappoint him. Yeah, I would, I mean, for the minutes, <laughs> okay. if you will. I'll make, a point, I'll make a motion that we unappoint Mike Demers to the planning board. For his request. Yes. That's what I was, that was my next two words. Sorry. <laughs> I'll second that. All right, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? So what that does to the planning board is it will move Pat Pearson up to, she is the current alternate, she will get moved up to Mr. Driscoll's spot. Um, I do have an appointment prepared for you. And then we will have um, two alternate positions open that we need to advertise. Uh, we do have a couple of names from the... Um, prior round we can reach out and see if they're still interested in advertising at the same time so mrs pearson's appointment is until june 30th of 2023 that's when mr driscoll's term ended all righty sure okay okay certificate of appointment title 30a mrsa 2602 Selectman's Office, Municipality of Acton, Maine. Two, Pat Pearson, the Selectman of the Municipality of Acton, do in accordance with the provisions of the laws of the State of Maine, hereby appoint you as Planning Board Member within and for the Municipality of Acton until 6 30, 2023, given under our hand this 12th day of May, uh, 2021. I'll make a motion that we appoint Pat Pearson as a Planning Board Member. I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? So while you're signing that, um, I 
did text uh, Mr. DeMars. He's got a very tight schedule between two towns. He knows that we're in a live selectmen's meeting, but um, is available by phone if you'd like to speak with him. I don't think we need to. Dave wants to check with okay. a couple I, just, of his. I thought he wanted to ask him some questions. Oh, we can. I mean, we, we, he still wants to make some other phone calls, so okay. we can. Yeah, He's right. just willing I think to anyway. answer any questions if you need okay to. Okay, with you, Dave? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I only skip okay. over you because he questioned that. So that's fine, that. that's yes. Awful. You can skip. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is there, is there oh. Oh, I got her. for a second. All right. Um, public announcements. Public comments is what I meant. <laughs> Anybody have any comments? Everybody's quiet tonight? Okay. Well, moving on. We'll move to announcements. On May um, 19th, we have a Board of Selectmen's meeting at 6. On the 20th, we have a Planning Board meeting at 6. And on the 26th is a Board of Selectmen's meeting. Anybody else have any announcements? Oh, guess I'm looking for a motion. A motion we adjourn. Seconded. Moved and seconded. All in favor? All opposed? Thank you everybody for coming tonight. Am I still at